Hello and welcome to another class of Arabian Biosciences. This is Abhishek with you. So today I will be telling you about Nipah virus. Recently you may have heard that Kerala has been put on high alert due to mysterious deaths of 8 people because of an unidentified viral attack. And that virus has been confirmed as Nipah virus. It has a high mortality rate and deadly disease. It can cause deadly disease. So it has several characteristics and I will be going one by one. So here I will be discussing everything you need to know about this virus and how to be safe from this virus. So first the type of disease. So it is a genotic disease. So genotic disease means Nipah virus infection is a disease which can be transferred to humans from animals. So it can cause severe diseases to both animals and humans. So it is a genotic disease. Now type of nucleic acid. So any organism can be, uh, their nucleic acid can be of DNA or RNA. So here it is single standard negative sense RNA. Now the most important thing source and host. The source and host of this virus is fruit bats. And the intermediate carrier for this virus is infected pig. So more information about this virus is that the incubation period from the infection, the day of infection to uh, manifest its symptoms it takes about 5 to 14 days and it has a high fatality rate about 70 to 100 percent till now there is no vaccination or medicine is known against this virus and the primary treatment for this virus is intensive supportive care nothing more than that so the first incident of this virus was reported in 1998 in Malaysia in India, it was earlier also reported from West Bengal, that is January to February 2001 in Siliguri district, where it has claimed 45 lives with 66 cases. And in April 2007 in Nodia, that is also in West Bengal, with 5 deaths out of 5, so 100% fatality rate. So from that you can assume that this virus is how fatal. Now the transmission of this virus, how you can be affected by this virus. So it's a very important part. So fruit bat, as I have told you, natural host of this virus. You have to be aware of that. How? Because consuming fruits eaten by these infected bats may be the main reason and this is the main reason from where the humans are getting the infection. So the next one is infected bat or infected animals like pig can also transmit the virus to humans. Now from one human, uh, several humans can be infected if the person is in contact with other humans. So it means the infected person should be quartered, not be uh, just in contact with other healthy humans. So these are the transmission levels of this virus. Now what are the symptoms? If you have the disease, you will have several symptoms like fever, headache, drowsiness, mental disorientation mental confusion, coma, and ultimately death. It may also have acute respiratory syndrome, asymptomatic infection, and fatal encephalitis. So primary cause is encephalitic syndrome and has a high mortality rate. Now, there are no medicine till death or no vaccine against this virus. So there are two advices which are given by doctors to be safe, that is avoid consuming eaten or foreign fruits on the ground that may be eaten or contaminated with bats, uh, this virus uh, coming from the bat and avoid contact with infected person who have the NIV that is Nipah virus. So these are the two crucial uh, protocol to follow to avoid the disease and most of all if any complications, complications is arising in your body please get a help, medical help. Thank you. Be safe.